as quickly as possible. Now, when you guys are going through these problems, um, you are going to want to make sure you guys have these written down in front of you because we are going to be using them all the time, especially today. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is at least going back to some properties that you guys remember. And when we do the properties um, for today, I'll try to kind of remind you of which property we're using. But there's three properties that we basically discussed You can't really see that very well, can you? <laughs> so there's basically three properties that we discussed um, when we're talking about exponents. And the first one that we discussed was the product property. And what the product property says is x, if you were to multiply two exponents with the same base, then we would add the powers. All right. Um, the next one was the quotient property. And what the quotient property said was kind of the same thing. If we divide two properties, then we are simply going to subtract the powers. And again, this is only when the base is the same. And then the last thing is, if we had a property um, x to the m raised to the n, then we would rewrite that as n times x to the, I'm sorry. We would then multiply your powers x to the m times n. Does everybody kind of remember those properties? It's kind of what we discussed, and we use them over and over and over again um, when we are simplifying rational expressions and multiplying, adding, subtracting, and so forth. So now we're going to get into logarithms. And if you guys remember when logarithms, basically, um, we kind of introduced logarithms last class period. And now we're going to use some expressions where we're going to have, um, where we're going to be using the properties of logarithms. So going off of this, if we have a log base x of m times n. All right. So remember, x is your base, and then you're taking the logarithm of m times n. Well, if you have the product of two values, you can break that up into log base x of m plus log base x of n. So you can break it up into two separate logarithms where you're adding the logarithms. And notice that the bases are exactly the same. For division, if I have log base x of m divided by n, then I can rewrite that as log base x of m minus log base x of n. And then the last one would be the power rule, which is again kind of the same thing. If I have log base x of m raised to the n power, then I can rewrite that as the product which would look like this. So I basically bring the n down in front, and I multiply it by the log base x of m. And that is multiplying. So you guys can see how the relationship between the rules of exponent as well as the rules of logarithm. 